A crisp new $5 bill. What will it be used for? What is money anyway? Throughout history, people have struggled to find the best way to pay for things, using unusual items for currency like salt, even cattle. Holy cow! Now, technology allows us to settle a bill with a few clicks on our phone. But Octavio Blanco, a financial writer at Consumer Reports, warns us if you're not careful, peer-to-peer -peer payment apps could end up costing you. The way it works is you download the app, uh, and then you connect the app to your bank account or some other payment device. So let's say that you and your friends are out for pizza and you're splitting the bill, but you didn't bring any cash. If you and your friends all downloaded the same peer-to-peer -peer payment app onto your cell phone, um, you could pay your friends for your share of the pizza. It can be super convenient because you don't have to carry around cash, uh, but there are a few things you need to be careful about. Let's take a look at some common pitfalls with peer-to-peer -peer payments. First, who are you trying to send money to? What you doing over there? Just sending some money to this guy who's selling his couch. Look, it's a sectional. Wait, do you know this guy? Does it count if I met him online? Our advice is that you should only pay people that you know with peer-to-peer -peer apps. You should never deal with strangers. Scammers are taking advantage of peer-to-peer -peer apps. They'll accept your money and then never deliver on whatever it is that they promised to give you. It's not just scammers you need to worry about. Your own bad spelling could cost you dearly. Hey. Hey. You spell your last name with a Y, right? Okay, mistakes happen. Many peer-to-peer -peer services won't help if you send money to the wrong person. You may have to reach out to the recipient yourself and ask for it back. Or you may have to go to your bank to try to resolve the problem. What we recommend is that you do your homework and know exactly what the app expects you to do when mistakes like this happen. One big thing to remember is that with some apps, you need to be careful about what you're paying for. Hey. hey, any exciting plans for the weekend? Yeah, actually I'm going on a short road trip. Which reminds me, I need to pay the dog sitter. You gotta remember that these are peer-to-peer -peer apps, not peer-to-business apps. So um, you could get kicked off of the app if you're using it for some sort of business purpose. A simple solution is that most of these services offer business accounts, so check them out. Finally, Octavio says, make sure you use the app's extra security features. Oh, let me pay you back for the coffee. Oh, thanks. Done. That was fast. Do you have a pin on that app? Oh, no. I don't have time for that. You really need to establish some security on your P2P app, whether it's your fingerprint or a pin number. That way, if you forget your phone in the park and somebody picks it up, they can't send themselves money from your account. Set up that pin so no one gets in and you should have nothing to fear with peer-to-peer. -peer.